Is it warm out, Derek? I mean, it's, it's more the humidity. At least there's a breeze. We are in Montevideo, Minnesota, Fiesta City Speedway. We've got a modified special here tonight, so that's my division, but they are running Onyx's division also. This is not the only cars here. We got the Bulgarian Hammer with us tonight. That They don't like naughty shirts. They didn't like Aaron's shirt well, in a previous video. They probably don't like mine either. Hey, 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 hey. Anyway, like I was saying, there's a lot more cars here than what it looks like because there's like four different parts to their pit area. So there's these cars back here. There's some behind another building. There's an outside staging area over there. And there's a lot of cars in the actual pits on the open trailers. So attendance is much better than it appears. Getting ready to go. Onyx starts, uh, I think, sixth in his heat. He's gonna need top four. I think we both start sixth in our heats and we need top four to make our point inversion. So we're getting him warmed up. So this is about a three ace mile track. Heavy black dirt. It's got some banking to it, particularly on this side of the track. Pier stock's waiting to roll out now. Look at the shiny spots already, Onyx. The dusty spots with that sun baking on it. It's not, like it'll peel up some, but it's not gonna be heavy. It's hotter than the Dickens out here, but it's a nice night for racing. I don't actually know how hot the Dickens are, but I've been told pretty warm. Give it hell. those turns in. It's already fairly slick out there. I didn't tell him that though. It'll be fine.
the heat. But he got racked up in that little wreck there. I hope he didn't bend anything that I fixed earlier. He looked fast after that, so... All right. Like I said, he'd be way too loose and never keep up. Yeah, you were right. Uh, for a minute there, I thought well, I was going to end up fixing everything on the right front I just did three hours ago. I bet we're going to end up fixing some of it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that right front's looking all dickered. I can't tell what's bent. Oh. Upper ball joint, I'm pretty sure. Shock pretty, that, that looks like that, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it's got a little arc to it. Shock looks okay. <laughs> it looks like it's kind of got a hook to it, right? I put that on there yesterday. Good run. You were way better than him. Even with a bent ball joint. So half the stuff we fixed in the last week is bent again. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, check check that the side, too. Thank you. What about this? We're going to run out by the end of the weekend. Otherwise, that's the only other thing I can No, see. that's fine there. Then we're good, I think. I would check. This is the one I'd be worried about. But I don't think it's really in there. No, I don't see, there's no cords there or anything. I think it's all right. I did not think I was fine. Spindle arm looks oh, okay. Looks like you were fine. That was a hard hit. Yeah. That, that was a hard hit. There was just nowhere to go. Lower control looks fine. worked. Oh, that's not bad. I think the lower is okay. All right, we got the mod warming up. Derek's still working on B mod. Igor and Onyx are working on tires. Onyx starts on the front row of his feature, so we're going to want to get his car up to snuff. So I got to throw my suit on. I hope I can go out and pass as many cars as he just did.
found the center link on Onyx's car was also bent. And I haven't told him, but something else is still bent, but we don't know what it is. So we just spun the tie rod to get the correct toe out. So there is some geometry that's not correct under there right now, but I don't know what it is. And it's race time, so he's got to go. It's broken the rear end? Yeah, look at where the wheel is. Oh, mother of God. You got a 14 year old kid that can lead all those laps and run smooth and you got adults out there that'll go from the top of the track to the bottom when they're a lap down in front of the leader i don't get it nothing you could do there. That guy came from the top to the bottom. He darted. No, like That's not on like you. That, I couldn't. That's not on you. He was broke. He came through this end of the track with came sparks and stuff and flying. Like His crew guy jumped across the wall and waved him to come in and he turned immediately in front of the leader.
That might be a problem. So this dew husker here isn't supposed to. How did that? Yeah. You think was that wall or what caught that? Maybe the guy. Oh, there's a lot of pressure on a lot of things. I don't know, not yet. I'm a little nervous about what's going to let go at some point. Um, there's a bunch of load on this. Load. Not like it's gonna stop on the spring back. Yeah, it's good. Uh, we gotta get we gotta get that shock out of there. Let the rear end swing. Okay. Uh, well we got it together enough to get in the trailer. It isn't right, it's gonna take a lot of fixing, but at least we can set it down and get it in the trailer now. I feel for him. I feel hard. Lap cars, man. Unreal. Absolutely wiped him out. Onyx could have killed him, punted him in the driver door and killed him. That was extremely unsafe maneuver. No good, once again. Bummer of a night. Bummer of a season. Aside from a couple lucky wins, most of this season has With sucked. Race cars and slow race cars. Yeah.
Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. <laughs> that sounds a lot more exciting. Next morning here, I got everything all unloaded. I haven't really started to tear into this car yet to see what we're gonna need for parts. I think the front end is pretty basic. I think it's both on bumpers and tin work. I, oh, oh, he did get the concrete right there pretty good. So, I'll look that over. I'll find out more in the next couple days, but in the rear end here, <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised if his rear end isn't bent the way it hooked that rim and pulled everything forward. Oh, got some more tin work and some bracing to fix back here. Absolutely nothing of his doing. He did everything right to avoid that guy and not hit him in the driver's door. It's just an unfortunate thing. Just terrible, terrible luck. What do you do? Uh, it's a humbling sport at times. This season is one of those times we'll get this fixed up. Hopefully um, go live a little bit or get it on video or I don't, we've been going live on our Facebook sometimes. You guys can check that out. Maybe we'll go live on YouTube one night in the shop here. And anyway, thank you guys for watching. We'll get Onyx's car fixed up and I don't know, go, go back to the notes on this and see if we can think of anything. Okay, bye. One last thing, putting you guys on alert here to let you know that we are very close to having t-shirts for Onyx. Uh, really cool t-shirts actually of this thing ripping through a cornfield. Uh, hopefully those are out very, very soon. They're gonna be, you can order them online through our farm focused site where we do all of our merch for Millennial Farmer, but we'll keep you updated on that. If they're out by now, by the time this video comes out or available for order, check down in the description and uh, we'll probably pin a comment up there. Okay, now bye.